In the mid-50s, Leon Festinger and his colleague Merrill Carl Smith conducted a classic experiment in which students were engaged in very boring tasks. The students were then given a request by one of Festinger's staff. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me tell you now what we're actually studying here. It's the effect of preparatory mental set on performance. The rest of the subjects are prepared by being told that the experiment will be very interesting and enjoyable. In fact, lots of fun. Uh, now I have a somewhat unusual request to make of you. Uh, the next subject is waiting right outside, but the fellow who ordinarily gives the spiel uh, isn't here. Uh, I wonder if you could possibly take his place. As a matter of fact, we figure we'll be needing someone in the future, so I'd like to offer you a $20 retainer and have you remain on call for us. Uh, would that be all right? $20? That'd be fine. Half the students were randomly assigned to the group that received $20 for lying that the experiment was fun. The other half were given only $1 for lying. Dollar as a sort of a retainer and have you remain on call with us. Uh, would that be all right with you? Yes, that'll be all right. The cognitive dissonance came from the knowledge that the experiment was in fact boring and $1 was insufficient reward for lying. Many of the $1 subjects actually convinced themselves that the experiment was fun after they made their decision to reduce the dissonance between their prior beliefs and their behavior. They came to believe a big lie for a small incentive. I to a girlfriend of mine who participated in an experiment last week and she said it was very tedious. Oh, I don't think that was the same experiment because this one wasn't boring at all. I didn't think so.